Linda, you're going to talk a little bit now about legislation. Mm -hmm. Governor Northam signed the Senate Bill 5030, sponsored by Senator Locke, police reform legislation, which incorporates a number of critical reform measures passed by the House of Delegates. House Bill 5099, sponsored by Delegate Aird, prohibits law enforcement officers from seeking or executing a no-knock search warrant. Uh, with Governor Northern's signature, Virginia becomes the third state in the nation to ban no-knock warrants. House Bill 5049, sponsored by Delegate Helmer, reduces the militarization of police by prohibiting law enforcement from obtaining or using specified equipment. Governor Northern amended this bill to clarify that law enforcement agencies can seek a waiver to use restricted equipment for search and rescue mission. Bill 5029, sponsored by Delegate McQuinn, requires law enforcement officers to intervene when they witness another officer engaging or attempting to engage in the use of excessive force. 5039 was sponsored by Delegate Carol Fall, limits to circumstances in which law enforcement officers can use neck restraints. That's very important. Bill 5069. House Bill 5104, sponsored by Delegate Price, mandates law enforcement agencies and jails to request the prior employment and disciplinary history of new hires. Bill 5051, sponsored by Delegate Simmon, strengthens the process by which law enforcement officers can be decertified and allows the criminal justice service boards to initiate decertification proceedings. Bill 5108, sponsored by Delegate Guzman, expands and diversifies the criminal justice service board, ensuring that the perspectives of social justice leaders, people of color, and mental health providers are represented in the state's criminal justice policy making. Governor Northern signed Bill 5055 and Senate Bill 5035, sponsored by Leader Heron and Senator Hashma, respectively, which empower localities to create civilian law enforcement review boards. These new laws also permit civilian review boards the authority to issue subpoenas and make binding disciplinary decisions. House Bill 5045, sponsored by Delegate Delaney, makes it a class six felony for law enforcement officers to currently know someone they have arrested or detained. House Bill 5109, sponsored by Delegate Hope, creates statewide minimum training standards for law enforcement officers including training on awareness of racism, the potential for bias profiling, and de-escalating techniques. Senate Bill 5014, sponsored by Senator Edwards, which mandates the creation of minimal crisis intervention standard training standards and requires law enforcement officers to complete crisis intervention training. During this pandemic, a lot of decisions and the way we do things have is a little different. But I also am grateful that we have been all working together as, mo as best we can to try to keep our community safe and to keep um, legislation going through. And so we hope this will continue.